Hi guys. Hi friends. Welcome to Be Set Free. I'm Jen. I wanted to make up a follow video from yesterday's video, um, a hard question we need to ask ourselves, but a must for healing. And I was talking about asking ourselves why, that we need to ask ourselves why. Um, so please watch that video first before watching this one, because um, this is going to kind of just jump in there. So I was talking about um, asking ourselves why. Why did we stay once we realized uh, we needed, you know, we were being abused? Why? Asking ourselves why did we put up with what we put up with? Um, I was talking about how, yes, um, at first we didn't know what was going on. We were tricked, absolutely, stuff like that. But at a certain point in time, we knew what we were, we knew that we were dealing with things that were hurting us regarding being abused um, emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually, financially, the whole gamut. So what I wanted to say today is don't stop asking why, okay? So you could ask yourself, um, you could say, well, Jen, I stayed, my why is because I ignored the red flags. That's why, that's why I stayed because then by that point, I was already sucked in, right? And then I wanted to, my other why is I wanted to help them right? I felt sorry for them. Okay, so back up. Back up. Your first why here example is I ignore the red flags. Okay, fair enough. Me too. Why? Why did you ignore the red flags? Keep asking why. Okay, why did you ignore the red flags? Well, maybe your answer is I thought maybe maybe I didn't trust myself and I, um, I don't know. I just didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Um, maybe my why answer to why I ignore the red flags is, let's see, what's another reason why I ignored red flags? Um, I really like them. And although I saw the red flags, I, I still, there was other things in there I really liked. So I was just going to deal with that stuff. Okay, why? Why? Why was it important to you, more important to you to ignore red flags and decide that you like them more than the red flags? What was it about them that you liked? Why? Okay, do you understand? So each why question, don't stop with just the first answer you get. Go layer by layer, okay? Um, why did you stay? Why did you stay and put up with this behavior? Well, because I felt sorry for them. I thought I was going to fix them. Why was it important to you to fix them? Why did, or why did you feel sorry for them? Ask both. Why did you feel sorry for them? Well, because you can see they were in pain. Why was their pain important to you? Because I felt like that before. You know, I felt like that before in my life. Okay, let's change it to when. When did you feel that way? When did you feel that way? Okay, do you understand? Okay, I felt this way when in childhood. I remember feeling this way and nobody was there to help me. And I remember how horrible that was to feel that. Okay, all right, let's talk about that. So the why questions, friends, are going to lead you to these very big realizations as to why you stayed why you dealt with it, why you made the choices to stay in a dangerous or um, an unhealthy mentally situation. And this is where the healing is. This is what I wanted to say yesterday before my video just cut off. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen again today. Because these why answers, 
this is where your core healing is. Okay, friends, does this make sense? If, if you want more, if you want to come up with more, um, whys and where they lead to, um, you want me to talk more about this? Leave me a comment. I'm happy. I can, I can come up with more whys, you know, and I'm happy to use my whys as an example if it helps you figure out your whys, if it helps get you going on a train of thought for your whys. Because at first, when we start asking why, 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 it's really hard to go to that second layer. Then it's hard to get to the third layer. Then it's hard to get to the fourth layer. But once you practice this and you really take your time to think about why and when, right? It'll lead to when questions. It gets easier because you start like unlocking things that you didn't realize were there inside of you. And you start remembering things that uh, you had forgotten about your life. So anyways, um, that's it. I hope this helps you so much. Please leave comments. Please, um, if you feel led, leave your whys. Leave your um, why you stayed. Where, what did that why lead to for you? And then what did that why lead to for you? If you feel comfortable sharing. Because these whys will help other people uncover their whys as well. And um, start to remember and start to think and start to get to the root issue of things. Okay? So friends, um, I'm going to leave my first video um, pinned under the in the comment section so if you didn't see it yet you didn't go back and see it you can go see it right now and um anyways i just pray for you every day and i'm thinking about you and i'm rooting for you okay and i'm still going through my whys too so i'm right here with you i think that healing is a lifetime process um we never fully get to uh Oh, I've arrived at healing. There's always layers. <laughs> okay, so go slow, take your time, and be nice to yourself. I'll talk to you soon.